So 10% of overall revenue, some would argue that you should be targeting uh, the profits. What is your view on this? I think in terms of um, the remedy we've asked for, it's difficult to get into uh, those sorts of details um, at the moment without going into um, the tribunal process. Um, I mean, just to clarify, we are at the Competition Commission and we have investigated um, the allegations and we've referred them to the Competition Tribunal. So the tribunal will then go through its, its, its process and will then adjudicate on the matter. So, so in terms of taking you know, value judgments as to um, turnover or profit, um, the Act guides us in terms of um, what is allowable in terms of fining and it's usually in reference um, to turnover. Well, I mean, just looking at some of the investigations that have come through, we know that uh, Mittal and Haifeld Steel adjusted prices for steel uh, around the same time, and we saw similar percentage increases. Uh, what is the counter-argument to this? Because one would say that we, you know, we're seeing cost increases of the same nature, given the fact that we are within the same industry. I suppose one, um, you know, I suppose perhaps let's talk about the essence of the conduct. I mean, here you have two different firms uh, which are located in different places with different costs of production. Um, and so one would expect um, those differences to be a source of strategic un uncertainty and also competitive rivalry between the firms, um, enabling them to um, undercut each other or, or engage in other competitive means in the market. So in, in spite of um, similar cost increases, et cetera, I think where you have cases of, of, of clear um, understandings and concerted practices um, that, that, that follow one another, one can't just say because of cost correlations, this is the result. Uh, you'd expect, given that you know there is scope for competitive rivalry, given the other factors of differentiation between the two firms. Uh, um, also, Trudy, if you could give us a bit of insight into this, because what we see with ArcelorMittal is it's said that they buy our iron ore at very cheap levels, cheaper than what we see on a global level, and then sell that at export parity prices. I'm sure there was a lot of investigations that were done uh, with regards to this. Um, well, not necessarily in, in this uh, particular matter. I mean, if you'll recall, there is a history of um, pricing um, conduct that has, been, that has come to competi the competition authority scrutiny over the years. And one you'll remember a few years ago, um, the Harmony Metal case, as, as it was known, of excessive pricing, which at the time looked at import parity pricing. Um, the period under investigation here um, also overlaps with that period of um, import parity pricing. And therefore, part of the argument would be that if there was rivalry, you would find prices diverging um, and, and moving perhaps towards um, export parity prices. So this is not a pricing contravention, so to speak. It's more about how prices um, are set uh, in the market and the kind of understanding that dampen competition um, between rivals.